guys, it's Emily here, so welcome to another speed build. Today I am building a little modern vacation house in the jungle of Selva Dorado, and I am really happy with the way it turned out, so I hope you guys will like it too. It has one bedroom, one bathroom, so it's perfect for your single sim on vacation or your couple sims on their vacation or their honeymoon, which is what I thought it'd be perfect for. I think this would be such a cute place to go on a honeymoon. It seems so so peaceful and quiet and yeah I think it would be a really nice spot to take a sim on their honeymoon I want to take my mint sim Chloe here on her honeymoon after she gets married because I think she would really like it here so yeah if you watch that series let me know what you guys think about that but I think yeah I think she would like it so I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do more modern style builds and I thought it'd be a good idea to do a modern vacation house and originally I started building like a large modern vacation villa and I got I got overwhelmed very quickly. <laughs> I'm not very good at modern style buildings. I'm much more of a traditional builder. So yeah, I get I get a bit confused on what looks nice, especially like for the exterior structure. I'm not always exactly sure what looks balanced and what looks what looks good. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. So when I got overwhelmed with that build, I decided that I would take the like elements from that build that I liked into a much smaller one. So this is what I came up with. So hope that, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. But I think it's really cute and I had a lot of fun mixing some traditional elements with the modern elements because I felt like it needed some traditional elements to it to tie in with the jungle like this terracotta roofing oh my god I loved using that in a modern style I thought it looked really cool so yeah let me know what you guys think about that but I thought it tied in really nicely and makes it look more jungly anyways so yeah I had a lot of fun with it I would like to go back to that modern villa eventually and build like a large modern vacation house and maybe some modern regular homes eventually, but I just need to get more confident with my modern building abilities. Um, but anyways, these flowers, you guys, I didn't think I liked them. <laughs> when I first saw them, I thought I would never use them. I thought they were too like kind of bulky and boxy and I was like, how am I ever really going to make these look nice? I love them they look so good i had so much fun using them on this build so if you don't like them i apologize because i put them like all over this house but i thought they were so pretty especially when the light hits them just right they almost glow especially in that red color they are really pretty <laughs> i was really happy with the way those looked and so yeah I don't know, you guys have to let me know what you guys think about them. And let me know what you guys think about this pack. Last build, I didn't really talk about this pack at all. Um, normally I do talk about my builds a lot, but in my last build I did my 10k special where I did a Q&A and that was a lot of fun too, by the way. I had a lot of fun creating that video and answering your guys' questions. It was really enjoyable and you guys left me a lot of really nice feedback in the comments of that video. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. And yeah, I thank you for your questions too. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them. I wish I could have, but um, yeah, I will definitely save them for future videos. Um, but anyways, I really like this pack. Uh, this is only the second build that I've done with it, but I've really enjoyed building with it. I love all the plants. The only thing that kind of confuses me about the plants, though, is they gave us a couple ones that are just recolors of base game plants. And I kind of would assume that they would have just done an update and gave us a couple more swatches of the in-game plants instead of making them a whole separate item in the catalog. Because I feel like when they do that, it just kind of clutters up the catalog. It's kind of annoying but I don't know it doesn't bother me too much I guess but what really bothers me about this pack is they didn't give us matching island counters to go with the new kitchen cabinets which I don't know why they did that it's very confusing to me I wish I wish they would have so I did have to improvise in my dream vacation house I used parenthood countertops in this one there's no island counters there's a bar with a couple bar stools but there's no island counters so yeah, I don't know. I just wish they would have included those. But other than that, I don't have any complaints. I think it's a really beautiful pack, beautiful world, and I really want to do some gameplay in it. So I've been thinking about doing a Let's Play with this pack and just completing the aspirations, kind of like a little mini series. So let me know what you guys think about that if you guys would be interested in it, because I definitely want to experience this pack, and I know I won't do it on my own. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thing. But as you guys can see, the exterior shape is coming together. I kind of just section off the pool a little bit and make it a little bit more private. And I think it looks really nice. And I add a fountain by the pool as well. Oh, and a little barbecue. And yeah, I think it looks really pretty. Originally, I wanted to use this tree in that bright color, but there's none in the distance. I didn't see any surrounding the house. And I was like, that stands out too much. But I would like to use those eventually. I wonder how they would look in Oasis Springs. Hmm, I'm definitely gonna have to use some of these items in Oasis Springs because I definitely think it's gonna make building there, especially in the more Mediterranean looking side of Oasis Springs, a lot more fun. 
So yeah, I really like the way this pool area comes together. I think it it ends up being really private and really like sweet looking. I think I put a little dining table outside as well as a couple lounge chairs, but the lounge chairs aren't functioning though. Um, I did a couple of them in my dream vacation house and those ones weren't functioning either, but I think they look nice and I wish we had ones in the game that would actually work, but I enjoy making them so I thought I would do that in this build and I wish I would have left the fireplace here. I was like kicking myself after watching this footage back. I'm like, that actually looks really cute. And after I placed it there, I was like, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit too traditional and I don't think it really matches the build. Looking back, I regret it. I think it looks really, really cute. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should have left that fireplace there? I feel like I should have. I don't know. Oh, well, it still looks nice anyways. But yeah, I do a little bench out here in the back, which I thought was really cute. I really like the throw pillows on it. It's so so cute. I wish we would have actual just pillow decor decorations that we could place anywhere we want. I know I've said this a lot. If you've been around on my channel for quite some time, I've mentioned how I want pillows a lot. <laughs> I think it would be really so nice just to put pillows on whatever couch or bed or whatever you would like. I know there's a lot of custom content ones, but I wish there was ones from EA. I think that would be really nice. But these are the lounge chairs that I made. So if you want them to be more functioning, just take away the leg part um, and then your Sims could just sit in the chairs or what I thought would be a good idea is to put some massage tables out here. So if you have uh, the Sims 4 spa day, then you could put the massage tables there, which I thought would be really nice. I also put a yoga mat out later, but sometimes I try to think of those less as yoga mats, but more as like towels to lay out and sunbathe. But I do like Sims doing yoga by the pool just because I imagine myself doing yoga by the pool and I think that would be really enjoyable. And then I put some of these flowers in the pool as well, which I originally wasn't going to do, but I felt like the wall was a bit bare with just the fountain there. And I don't know, I thought it looked really nice, but here is the outdoor dining and there's no dining table inside. Wow, we skipped over that really quickly. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so there's no dining on the inside, but I imagined in a place like this, it wouldn't matter too much. Your Sims would probably be, you know, more happy to eat outside anyways, but there is a couple of bar stools at the actual bar on the inside of the house. So your Sims could sit in there if they would like to, but yeah, I don't know. I thought that it'd be a lot nicer to eat out by the pool instead. And I think, yeah, I think it looks really cute just putting some rugs around and some other decorations. I wanted to have a little bit of clutter in this build, but not too much. I definitely wanted it to look like a vacation house and not like somebody's actual home. There's a few clutter items inside the build, but I wanted it to look mostly like it was stuff that the people who owned this house left for their guests that were staying here. Um, but in the kitchen, I do add some food clutter because I imagine that you would probably, as soon as you arrived in the jungle, you would probably go to the village and buy some, you know, bread and vegetables and fruits and stuff that way you could eat here rather than going out to eat for every meal because I thought that was pretty realistic I know when I've gone on vacation before where there's kitchens and stuff you go and you buy a little bit of food and then only eat out sometimes rather than for every eat, every meal but I mean you've got to eat out when you go on vacation because that's one of the best parts of going somewhere new is trying the new food at least I think so but um yeah we are pretty much done with the exterior and then we go on into the interior which I love the way the interior turned out I think it turned out so pretty and it's so airy looking I love the big windows that look out into the jungle that was something that I added in my dream vacation house it was like definitely a modern element in that build I wouldn't call that house modern I think it was more on the traditional side but I wanted large windows looking out into the jungle because I think that would just be so peaceful and so pretty and yeah I just oh, it'd be so nice I want to visit here in real life <laughs> I love going to tropical places my favorite places I have ever been are all tropical I went to um, I've been to Mexico a couple of times and my favorite place that I've been in Mexico is Playa del Carmen and um, I also have been to Jamaica which Jamaica was really nice as well really beautiful I just love the hot weather and the tropical flowers and plants and fruits. It's so enjoyable. Um, but yeah, now we're on to the interior. I did cut out a little bit of stuff, but I mostly kept in everything. I did have to change the exterior structure a little bit. I think I extended the bedroom by a tile and yeah, extended this area by a tile as well. That way I had room for the kitchen and the bedroom and the bathroom because it was a lot smaller on the interior than I had realized. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's a little bit cramped, but I made it work. But um, yeah, I pretty much left everything in this build since it was a pretty small build. I thought that um, there wasn't really much need to cut anything out. So yeah, hopefully you guys like that. So I actually built this while watching Pineapple stream on Twitch, which was so much fun. I really enjoy watching Twitch streams while building. I feel like some of my favorite builds come from 
watching Twitch streams, like, at the same time. I don't know what it is about it, but I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed um, her stream as well. You guys should definitely check her out. It was a lot of fun, really funny. You guys should, um, yeah, you guys should definitely look her up on Twitch if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. But anyways, as you can see, the floor plan is coming together. I do change a few things in the living area because I wanted it to be a little bit separated and a little bit more, um, I don't know, I like separated spaces. I don't really like open floor plans too much. So even when I do modern builds, I try to make the spaces a little bit more separated, but do I do try to make like large archways so it still flows together and it's still open, but I try to make the living spaces separate. I don't know, it's just a personal preference of mine. Not too big on open floor plans. Um, but yeah, and just adding some more ivy in the back just to kind of fill up the space because I did have to change the window a little bit. And I love the new tiles, by the way, you guys. The wall tiles are so pretty. I love them. And I love that they gave us like a high variation and a low variation. And ah, they're just so pretty. I really like them a lot. And the floor tiles are really nice too. I like the different stone textures and really pretty and the wood floors too oh my goodness I haven't mentioned the wood flooring I adore the new wood flooring it's so pretty even the different um more like different wood tones that like this one that I used has like pinks and blues and like greens in it. it's like a kind of a weird mixture of colors but they work so nicely and I love them a lot so I did change these windows here on the exterior of the kitchen area that way they weren't um in the way of the counters because I feel like that's a bit unrealistic to have the kitchen counters block the windows. <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't build the house that way. So I did switch them up and it's 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 okay. I mean, I kind of prefer the larger windows, but I felt like this just made a little bit more sense. So that's what I went with in the end. So hopefully you guys like that. And I kind of struggled with that giant structure that I made. I think I ended up making the walls a little bit shorter in the end off camera when I was taking pictures. I was like, this thing is kind of a monstrosity. It's a little bit too tall. So. I think I just take it to like the next size half wall in the end, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think it turns out really nice. Oh, and I love these kitchen counters too. I am upset that there's no matching island ones, but I love the counters still. They're really pretty, and I know I heard some people mentioning how they didn't like how chunky the handles were, but I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. I mean, maybe they're a little bit big, but that definitely doesn't bother me that much. It's not, it's not my go-to complaint. <laughs> I definitely would complain more about there not being island counters, but um. Yeah, oh, and I used these sheer curtains in the blue color, which I thought looked so pretty, and uh, I just love these new items, and I even like that new refrigerator. When I first saw it, I did, wasn't really sure if I was going to like that. I thought it looked too too retro. I thought it was, wasn't really going to work in mini builds, but I actually really like it. I've had a lot of fun using it, and yeah, really enjoyed it a lot. Oh, and that little basket, I pulled it out of the debug menu. And I put fruit in it, and I was like, ah, oh, that's perfect. It works so well. It's like a little bowl to put things in, and yeah. I had a lot of fun, and I have a popcorn machine in here. I thought about putting an ice cream machine in here, but I put that in my last build um, when I did my dream vacation house, so I thought this time I would add a popcorn machine. I was trying to use the fruit bowl from Parenthood to put in that basket, but um, it didn't really work, but I just feel like the fruit just looks a lot nicer from that item. I feel like it's a lot higher quality than the base game fruit bowls, but um, I ended up going with this one in the end, which uh, looks really cute, and it looks like the fruit is just sitting in that basket. I thought that was so sweet, but yeah, I just put like jars and little canisters of food around, just things that I thought they wouldn't got from the market or cereal or things like that, just so they have some food in the kitchen, because I can't leave the countertops bare. It's just not in my nature to have bare countertops, so even though it's a rental, there's some clutter around, but um, not too much. I don't think so anyways. I don't think it's overly cluttered. And I did play test the stove. I did this in my dream vacation house as well where I use these little counters off the side of the stove just because with these countertops, the little um, like half tile size of them don't work very well. They do clip a lot. So I used these um, shelf counter things <laughs> instead. And um, yeah, the stove works fine. It doesn't cause any fires. It doesn't cause any weird weirdness at all. Your sins can use the oven just fine. They don't even notice that the tables are stuck into the oven at all. So yeah, no worries there. I didn't get anybody asking about it in my last build, but I thought I would bring it up just in case any of you guys were concerned about it working or not. But um, right here where I'm trying to place a window is where I end up putting the bar on the interior, which I love it. It's probably my favorite part of the house. <laughs> I think it looks so cool and yeah, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. So you guys will have to let me know what you guys think. But um, I'll get to it in a little while after I get this living room sorted out. It took me forever to figure out what colors I wanted to use in here. And originally I was going to go with light browns and creams. And 
uh, which I really like, but um, I end up going with mint in the end, which I think looks a lot better and looks a lot brighter and a little bit more modern somehow. So yeah, I really like that. And I really like the new coffee table. I wasn't really that excited about getting another square coffee table. I was like, oh, we already have some that are kind of in this more rustic style. Like how different can it be? But I do really like it. I think the top wood pattern is really, really pretty. I wouldn't mind having a coffee table like that in real life. I think it's very nice. I would like to see a glass top version of one of them though. I think that would be really nice to have a big square coffee table with a glass tabletop and maybe some metal legs or something. I think that would be really cool. So hopefully they will add that maybe the next time they add a large square coffee table. But um, yeah, so I did add a hallway. <laughs> um, I like hallways in builds because I feel like they're really realistic and they break up the space and I felt like this needed a little bit of break in the space. It was a bit too open for my liking. But um, here I am adding the bar, which I love. I think this turned out so cool. I think it looks so nice how it overlooks the living area. And then I add the shelving with all of the jars above it, which I think looks so cool and it just uh, I think it looks so nice. It looks like it's actual built-in shelving above the bar with the, with the bottles. So I think that looks really cool. So let me know what you guys think about that. But I don't know. I'm really happy with the way that area turned out. I add a few paintings on the walls and some potted plants, which I thought was really nice. And I also get a bookcase in the living area, which I definitely thought would be a good thing to have here because I thought it'd be so nice to sit and read a book by the pool or, yeah, I just think that would be so sweet. And I also put a TV in here. Not that you would probably watch too much TV on vacation in the jungle, but, um, it's there if you want it. You could, of course, replace it for something else if you'd like, but I thought, why not? Just have a TV in here and um, I also put a bubble, bubble blower in the living room. It doesn't have any chairs attached to it so you can't use it the way it is right now. You'll see it in just a little while but I thought it looked cool as just decoration but you could of course go into build mode and then add a few cushions around it. Maybe take it out by the pool if you want to use it but I just thought it looked cool as decoration so but yeah something I should mention though if you want to use the bubble blower you'll have to go into build mode and so technically build mode is locked when you're on vacation but if you want to be able to build just you know go into the cheat menu which is control shift c and then type in bb.enable free build and then it'll unlock it and then you can just build regularly which I don't know why it's locked to begin with I don't get the reasoning behind that but that's the cheat to be able to build while you're on vacation or community lots if that's locked as well because I think sometimes when I'm on community lots the build option is locked but um yeah just keep that in mind if you would like to be able to add a few cushions around the bubble blower or change anything else um yeah but the living room is coming together I love the minty colors I think it works so well it's so pretty and uh, why does that plant become shadowed when you place it inside? <laughs> that was driving me crazy. It, drive, it drove me crazy in my last build, even though I did add it a, inside a couple of times. I hope they changed that because it gets like um, a shadow when you place it inside, but not outside. So yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but it still looks really nice. I love all the different little pots and plants and stuff. So pretty, but here I am adding the bubble blower in the corner. Yeah, I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> you can remove it if you don't like it, like I said, but um, or use it if you want to. Um, but now we are on into the bathroom and I do a shower and tub from the new pack and I think it looks so pretty and uh, I love the new shower with the tiling. I wish it was like a, there was a double shower version of it though, like a, I don't know, with like the tub and everything, but oh well, it's still really nice and I love these sinks with the blue bowls. My God, I love them. They're so pretty. <laughs> they look so nice. Uh, I I love them. I can't say enough good things about these. <laughs> They're so pretty. I want to use them all the time, even though they probably won't match in too many different types of builds. I think I'm going to figure out a way to make them work and I'm going to use them all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just put a few decorations around like this potted plant on the back of the toilet and a few towels and oh, a laundry hamper just in case your Sims want to put their dirty clothes after a long hike or a swim in the pool in there. But don't worry, they're not functioning laundry hampers your sims don't have to do laundry on vacation um but it took me forever to pick out a rug for this bathroom i end up going with just the white runner carpet in the end which i think looks really nice but it took me forever like you'll see me go through so many different options and variations and yeah i don't know it but i like the way it comes together in the end and i really like the carpet that i end up choosing even though yeah it took me an absurd amount of time <laughs> but it fit in there really nicely. But this is the bedroom, so the only bedroom in the house, and I end up going with this bed from Cats and Dogs, which isn't a modern bed, but I thought the color was really pretty, and I don't know, I feel like it fit the jungle theme pretty nicely as well. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to talk about that mirror. 
This mirror is beautiful. It's so nice. And I forgot to use it in my dream vacation house, which is a big mistake on my part. I just kind of forgot it existed because when I got the pack, I went through the items pretty quickly. I watched some reviews and went through the items and then just totally spaced that there was a new mirror. And so I didn't use it. And I was so mad at myself after I built it. And like I took the screenshots and anything. So there was no going back. And I was like, oh, well, like I will use it another time. <laughs> yeah, I finally used it here and it's, it's beautiful. I love it a lot. But, um, yeah. Do you guys like it as much as I do? Cause it's beautiful. Um, <laughs> oh, and I really like that. I hung that painting up there from, um, what is that from? That's from Dine Out. I thought the colors worked really well with this house and it worked really well with the jungle with the giant leaves and everything. And yeah, I do put a couple of side tables next to the bed as well with um, just a lamp on both of them. Nothing too exciting. Like I said, I didn't want too many personal clutter items to be around this place because I imagined that it would still be pretty tidy from the people who own it, getting it all ready for somebody to come and stay with stay in it over their vacation but yeah so we are almost done with this build and i hope you guys liked the way it turned out and hopefully you guys enjoy the screenshots and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and i will talk to you guys soon bye Thank mm -hmm. you.